it's Erica here and welcome to our first journal art journaling page. Um, I prepped my page here with some white gesso. I just use the Maker brand white gesso from Linkraft. Um, and I'm going to go in with some Kesa colour, the Kesa Craft uh, paint, acrylic paint. And I've got Mo Candy, Sea Breeze and Yellow Deep picked out at the moment. And I'm just going to go in with a stencil. It's a, an old stencil. I'm not too sure where it's from. Um, I picked up a hyper stencils recently, second hand, so I've extended my stencil uh, range, but I'm not too sure what they all are. But I know a lot of them were quite old um, ones. I actually managed to pick up some uh, Diane Reevely or um, Dilutions uh, stencils um, that you can no longer get. Um, normally so I'm actually really happy about that. Uh, anyway with this stencil I just uh, thought I'd go in and I just sort of put, I thought I'd put paint wherever but um, I sort of go in this diagonal stripe pattern in the end and just sort of... Now I, I don't have a sponge. Um, I need to buy some more makeup sponges to use for my painting. All the ones I had previously had dried out real bad, so I just tossed them all out and um, I need to get some new ones. I just haven't got any yet. So I'm trying to use paper towel. Um, the paper towel first up didn't work very well, but I go in with uh, a baby wipe. Um, with that being a bit damper and a bit spongier, it, it seems to work okay. So uh, it's not the best. Um, I think I waste a lot of paint doing it this way, but uh, never mind. It, um, it, I got the job done, so that's all that matters. So if you don't always have the tools, you can usually improvise somehow. Um, so just repeating the colour again once I get to the bottom, and just sort of oh, I'm moving the stencil down. Just didn't quite reach um, to the bottom, so just moving it down a bit. I um, quite like the look of that background actually. It looks pretty cool. Now just flipping to another page here and just using up some of my my paint scraps, just blobbing it in there, swiping it on. It is a colour in that in that background there. Um, and I go in with a, another stencil here, another new new stencil that I picked up. And uh, the colour I picked up there is marine blue, so it's quite a darker blue colour. Um, it just didn't seem to go on as well as I hoped. So um, yeah, just sort of putting it through. Um, you'll see in the end that I'm not overly happy with it, and you'll see what I do with it in a minute once I get all this stenciled in. Um, so yeah, just continuing around. Uh, I moved the stencil around a little bit as well with this one. Um, again, didn't quite reach the bottom of the page. Mind you, I don't have it set completely on the page, like centred on it or anything. Um, I was trying to get it to sort of look like it was star bursting out from that uh, hexagon shape there, but it, it didn't work out overly well. I'm just finishing up there, just here, just I sort of move it till it sort of looks right, like the lines line up alright, and just add the little bits in. It doesn't look too bad once it's finished. And again, just adding that leftovers around that page, just swiping it around the middle and around the edges, and just bringing that extra page there together. I think it'll end up looking alright. And I'll go in with the heat gun, but I don't go in, I don't dry it off too much. And you can see here, I then spray it with water and then just give it a wipe over. And um, I actually end up really, really liking how it turns out. So I was just wiping it towards the centre um, because it was picking up all the colours there. So I was just, I didn't want it to take out too much of the colour, but I did want to tone it down a little bit and just make it sort of blend a little bit more. And you see here, once I dry it off with the paper towel, the colours sort of come back a bit, so it's not as bad. Um, and then I just heat set it. Um, going through a magazine um, really quickly, you saw me do that. Um, I was going to cut out some magazine images and use them. Um, but uh, I've spotted that, that image in, in the horoscopes, and I was like, I would love to try and paint that. So getting my, my artistic talents on here, I thought I'd uh, sketch it out and, um, and go in with some paint. And I thought, you know, I'm not, this is art journaling, it doesn't have to be realistic, so why not just use some of the colours that I used in the background already. So I've gone in with the uh, sea breeze for her skin. <laughs> um, and then I go in with the candy 
for her hair. So she ends up sort of teal and, and pink, but um, I think the effect in the end looks quite good. So I'm just sort of roughly painting in, um, sort of blocking out the colour, sort of um, you know, just you know, blocking in the shape of the body. Goes everywhere I sketched. Um, it's quite quite a simple sort of sketch. The hands are just sort of then you know you can't really see all the fingers or anything. You sort of make out the thumb, and but then the other hands are sort of just like like mitten hands. I, I described them to the kids when they asked me about about it. I was like, yeah, they've just done like mittens, <laughs> um, and then a no no face uh, detail as well. So quite simple. You don't have to worry about trying to get eyes and things looking the right direction anything like that. Now here I'm just decided to darken up the paint a little bit so I just popped in a little bit of that marine um, marine blue into the teal colour just to make it a little bit darker so I could shade out um, basically the leg and the arm that are sort of towards the back so that they're a bit darker toned and, and I'll go in and um, just I'll make it a little bit darker again and then start doing some shading around the edges as well just to um, you know, just to make it a little bit more uh, 3D instead of very flat like it was. And just dry enough in between each sort of layer. Um, oh, that was my, my uh, pencil. I managed to dip it, drop it into the paint somehow. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Uh, it's just a, it's a um, wood-free graphite pencil that I, that I used to sketch out the, pen, the, the drawing in the background. So again here, I'm, see I'm just going over all the paint. I want to... Um, it was a little bit translucent, so I wanted to make it a little bit more opaque on the page, so just went over it with a few more layers. And just sort of, once again, just continue to do that blocking of the colours. Add in some lighter spots on that, on those back ones, so just starting to work in a little bit of the shading now as well. And I think I'll start darkening it up a bit in a minute. I'm oh, going through the hair as well, trying to make that a bit more opaque. Alright, so I want here I'm just Again, adding a little bit darker, making that a bit shade, a bit of a shade darker, and just popping in around the edge of the hair on the face, um, under where the chin would be or the neck, um, and then down the back there, just adding a bit of shade, and anywhere I think the light would be, um, a, you know, a little bit darker where there'd be shadow. So, you know, just around the edges of the arms especially the underarm area, um, just shading up that back arm there as well. And I'm just working with a smaller brush now to sort of get that detail in and just I'm just sort of blending it out into the center as well to soften the edges as well so it's not so harsh. Around the tummy and the leg area there. And then around the booty. And then just trying to you know define out those those legs as well with the and the arms, just by adding that shading in because uh, you can't you won't really see, you can't really see the the lines now obviously but uh, you know with with the shading you get that uh, definition of the legs in there again. Um, I'm just sort of going around all all the areas now, just making it darker where I think feel it needs to be so. So it was a, it was a quite uh, fun little exercise this one, just just painting and getting that uh, that image on. And I re I really love the style of, of artwork actually. It's uh, you know, it's quite fun. I've, I've um, drawn another girl that I wouldn't mind using on my art journaling as well, um, in a different pose. And I think she, it would be fun to to add her in sometime as well. So I might do another one in the future of a different different pose. We'll see what we get. Uh, again, um, I just added some red uh, into the into the candy pink colour, and I'm just again adding shading and texture to the hair where where I felt it would be darker, just to to darken that up as well. 
You can see those little shadows at the top coming in. That's my, my children were, were looking at my artwork as I was doing it as well. So they were, they were interested to see what I was doing. So now that I've gone most of the edges and things, I'm going to pop in. I'm going to give it a dry um, with the heat gun and just go around it with my black Posca pen. So it's, uh, I'm not really sure what thickness it is. I think it's a three. Um, so only a fine, a fine one. Not the not the thinnest, but um, but quite fine still. And I'm just going around the edges as well, so just to give it a little bit more definition, making her pop off the page. A couple of spots I sort of messed up and I ended up thickening up the line and I, I should have just left it but um, oh and now this this was a little bit of a mistake I thought I'd, I'd draw in some hair lines but I, they just look silly so you see I do it and then I don't like it I'm trying to tidy up where it you know black and then I add a bit extra thick lines so I decided I didn't like the white so I grabbed my my uh, candy pink paint and I start painting over it um, it kind of works really well because it toned down the white but still gave the look of the, the lines in the hair so you can sort of see it a little bit um, but it's toned it down nicely now so it's not as dark in there like it was so I was a bit happy with that and just you know, doing the darker tones again adding that back in a bit more and just you know, adding where it felt, felt it should be darker again I think I tidy, tidy up the edges with the black pen again, just where I might have painted over. But I'm much happier with her, how she looks with the just solid pink. I think it just works a bit better. And then, yeah, there we go, tidying up the edges. And I wanted somewhere for the quote to go, and I thought she should be holding a sun. In the, it was a Leo image that I was copying. Um, and Leo's a sun sign, so oh, that's also my birth sign. You're wondering why I chose the Leo one to copy. Um, but uh, yeah, going with the, the yellow deep and I sort of paint out this sun, but being that yellow is a light colour, it is very translucent. So I actually add a bit of gesso in the pink yellow to make it more opaque, um, which works really well. So the yellow is sort of mixed with the gesso and just, just painted it over so that it um, would block out that, that spot. Uh, so painting over that and um, yeah, I'm quite happy with how it looks. Again, using up the yellow, just find a page to add it to. I try and pick a page um, where the colour would actually work well in the background of it. So this time I just sort of blended it around in I think, three different spots ready to go so it looks a bit better. Uh, penciled in my quote, uh, I'd like to pencil mine in just in case it doesn't fit and, it, and that one didn't, I sort of had to move it a few times to get it to fit um, and then just um, going over it with my Posca paint pen um, nothing too fancy with that, it's pretty much, pretty much just a standard handwriting I didn't worry too much about being fussy, fancy with it and then going around with the white on this sun, you have to excuse me about the hiccups and uh, just uh, adding some little sun rays. I tried to go with the um, way that the rays were going in the background. It kind of looked a bit off. It wasn't centred on the, the centre spot. Once that's all dry, I can erase all the uh, pencil lines that I had there in the background too. But that is it. We are done. So thanks for watching, guys. And be sure to like and subscribe.